I've got the uh, Versamax 12 gauge set up and I've got some 3 inch slugs. So I'm going to take a look and see what kind of performance I can get out of those at 300 yards. So I have a rough idea of my holdover and I'll show you my target in a moment. Alright, I have the digital zoom on on the camera so I haven't played with this before so I'm going to see how this works out. But I'm going to put the 3 rounds down range and after in the editing room I'm going to see if we get any track out of it. So I'm going to pull back just a touch. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to take my 300 yard shot here. Uh, you can see where the posts are. I'm going to hold over maybe slightly to the right in the middle of them and see how uh, I'm going to hold my bead right on top of one and see how they'll go. Oh. Fuck. The three inch slails do kick. Alright. Well, only one way to find out how that went. Let's go down and check it out. I had no joy at all on that one. Uh, last week, I did get one at 300. And you know what? I'm going to have to show it to you because that might be the only one I ever get again. So it is possible. Uh, I'm going to go back try a few more. Now, the wind was blowing slightly left to right last week, so I held off on the top of the post using a two and three quarter shell, and I got good contact there. And then the other one was, uh, well, right down where my finger would have been, roughly, and hit the ground. So, um, I don't know what to say. I guess I'll try again, one more shot, and then we will call this a non-repeatable failure. All right, I am gonna shoot, uh Three, two or three quarter inch shells and see if we have any luck. Right, the last one I put just a touch higher, so we'll see how that worked out. I'm pretty happy. I got one slug hole right here. I did not bring the tripod this time, of course, because I was not optimistic. But I got one here, uh, hold over, I'm guessing between 8 and 12 feet. Uh, I don't have a way of measuring it right now, but uh, I'm pretty happy with that.